everyone, I'm Russ Carson, and let me welcome you back to 81 Crow and my 81 Crow Classroom series. Now, I'm sure by now most of you know how the classroom is structured and how it works, but in case we have any new folks out there, first of all, I'm really glad to have you here. Welcome, everybody. But this is where I'll take a kickoff or a break to a song, and I'll slow it down so you can see the mechanical components of what's going on clearly, and that way you can take it piece by piece and learn it by ear and figure it out. This is exactly how I was first instructed over 20 years ago and how I continue to do things. This time we're going back to the Skaggs catalog and we're going to play one of my favorite instrumentals that Ricky's written. This is a tune called Crossville and it's named after Crossville, Tennessee. He was on the bus coming home and this little tune just popped into his head in the middle of the night and he woke up, got his tape recorder out, laid it down, and then was trying to figure out what to call the thing. And when he opened the shades, they were going through Crossville, Tennessee. So that's where the name came from. But this is one of my favorite tunes of his. Crossville is in the key of A. So you're going to want to put your capo at the second fret. And also your railroad spike at the second position. Now, as I previously mentioned, I've slowed the song down for you. But if you desire it slower still, simply go into the YouTube settings menu and select your desired playback speed. Let's start by focusing on the left hand. And now let's take a closer look at what the right hand is doing. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Hit that like button and drop me a comment below if this was something that you enjoyed. And also, please subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And don't forget to ring the bell. That way you'll get all the notifications you need as I post new videos. And I will see you right here in the next video. Keep rolling, guys.